last week while razor wire was going up around parliament and stun grenades were, were dispersing the crowds, the president was tucked safely away somewhere on planet Zuma. You see, planet Zuma is a parallel, is a place in a parallel universe, far, far away from the lives of ordinary South Africans. Planet Zuma is a place where a swimming pool can be called a fire pool. It is a place where all the continents of the world fit into Africa. It is a place where the finance minister flies economy class, but the president buys himself a four billion rands jet. Planet Zuma is a place where the president can replace an excellent finance minister with a backbencher that nobody has ever heard of. It is a place, honorable members, where an international fugitive wanted for genocide is welcomed and given refuge. Planet Zuma is a place where young people who stand up for their right to learn are dismissed as part of a third force and charged with treason. It is a place where mine workers can be massacred by the police without an apology and without compensation for their families. Planet Zuma is a place where our president lives in a galaxy far, far away from the lives of ordinary South Africans. In his speech on Thursday, we learned more about Planet Zuma than the country we live in. You see, on Planet Zuma, there is no jobs crisis. This is why in the president's speech, we didn't hear anything about the 8.3 million South Africans who are jobless. See, on planet Zuma, all children have access to a quality education. This must be why the president didn't mention basic education once. On planet Zuma, our state-owned enterprises are, in the words of the president, performing well. And on Planet Zuma, every problem can be solved by setting up a committee, a task team, or a commission of inquiry. Madam Speaker, the President lived up to our expectations on Thursday. We expected to hear the empty words of a man out of touch with the people, and that is exactly what we got. We knew what to expect, but we came to listen anyway, and we stayed until the bitter end. Because this is what the South African people expect of us. They expect us to be here, in this parliament, making it work. Let me be clear. We came to listen to the president out of respect for the constitution and the office he holds. But we did not come out of respect for Jacob Zuma. <laughs>